The side, 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 or SSS similarity theorem says that two triangles are similar if you can compare the sides and see that their lengths are proportional to each other. Similar triangles can be blown up or shrunk down, transformed, to line up perfectly over each other. One is the bigger or smaller version of the other, in other words. So here is a representation of what that proportional lengths of sides means. You can set any of these up. You have to just go in the same direction for each set. In this case, I'm going from the bigger A to D, B over E, C over F, or I can start with the smaller and go the other way. D is to A, as E is to B, as F is to C. The key here is to make sure you are comparing the corresponding side, so the shortest side to the shortest, the longest side to the longest, and so on. Also be wary of when they rotate the triangles on you so they don't look like they are similar. You have to rely on the numbers, not what you think you're seeing. So in this case, you would start with the smallest sides, which would be 10 and 15, and you can go either way. Just make sure you're going the same way each time. I'm going to start with the smaller triangle and go to the bigger triangle. So 10 to 15, and I can simplify that fraction to 2 to 3 or 2 thirds. The next side I'm going to pick is the longest, going by the numbers. 30 is the longest on that one. 20 is the longest on that one. The ratio of small triangle side to big triangle side is 20 to 30. Again, that simplifies to two thirds. Looking good, let's check the last one. 16 and 24. Small to big is 16 to 24. And again, that simplifies to two thirds. Since all three of these ratios are the same, these two triangles are similar because of side, side, side similarity theorem. I hope you enjoyed that today. If it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.